the top prospects is I think it's a big part of the of us getting commitments is because we have a lot of our older guys are here but not only our older guys our younger guys are looking to get to the NHL and our, our uncommitted guys are trying to get committed we had five guys last year go to this event and with the five guys five guys got offers to go to division one for us it's very important to stay in touch with NCAA coaches you have to be on top of them you have to know uh, them by name and obviously it's important for us to showcase and tell our story about our players and uh, make sure that they get uh, promoted and the way to do that is make sure that we talk to the, the coaches at least once a week to even uh, sometimes once a month to make sure that they're, um, they understand what our guys are going through and how they're developing and how they're getting better every day. Well, it's a process to get all your guys involved in, in uh, you know, see as many players as you can. And when they go to your camps, it's, it's important that they have the understanding that they are getting seen, they're getting promoted to try and go to Division One. And it just, uh, everyone has to get to those camps in order to get seen in front of the coaches and see what you can uh, do against older guys sometimes or younger guys what they can do with now the, the draft is important because that's our future that's what we're trying to build for next year um, you know we if you don't get to those camps we can't see it's hard to identify who you are and what you can do against older stronger guys and our league's just older and stronger a lot of times there is some the younger players that are really um, good but they're maybe not physically as strong but we need to see them in that draft or in that camp so we can draft them and uh, they're part of our team for our future.